What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, testing negative for the viruses, and having a great day so far. It is time now for the Friday edition of the Virus Update for Friday, July 18th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. Let's face it, there's a lot of viruses out there, and you need to be informed with what's going on with these viruses. That's what I do here on my channel each and every day. Want to stay informed? Subscribe to my channel down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And of course, leave your comments down below. Alrighty, we are recording today's video rather early. And it is a Friday, which means it's usually CDC update day. However, because we're recording early, the majority of what comes in for the CDC on Friday is not in yet. There is some other stuff from other times of the week that I have not shown you. I will show you that and a whole bunch of other things. Stick around. This is a very busy update. So starting off with this from Sci-Fi in California. All regions uh, in California, it looks like, are showing high levels of COVID now, if not moderate or higher. And you can see here on this map now uh, from the California data. Yeah, California is really trending in the wrong directions. And trends for all sites on this California product are and now at high and medium shown here in this graph. Take a look at this. San Francisco, Santa Clara, uh, even down in Los Angeles area is starting to come up high. What does this mean? This means that COVID in California is really trending upward in the wrong direction. Look at this. Look at all these high wastewater sites that are showing up in California. This is really bad. Um, we're really starting to pick up the pace here in the United States. There's even more evidence showing that COVID may be starting to rapidly rise. And of course, in the Saturday virus update, we will get the latest CDC data in terms of epidemic status and maybe the wastewater and some other things. And hopefully we'll get a variant update this week. I don't know. But uh, take a look at this also from Sci-Fi on X. And in case you're wondering, well, I'm on my vacation at some point. I'm going to be doing things on the website. I will be adding a list of the X accounts that I use in these videos. Um, I'll, as many as I can think of. And uh, if I find some others, well, I'll add them in later on down the line as well. But I have to share this with you. Breaking. New York-New Jersey has highest one week COVID positivity spike since the week ending in January 1st, 2022. So not only are things starting to rise in pretty much all over the United States, in some areas, the rise is becoming very quick. You're going from, oh, things aren't that bad, to suddenly, hello, yeah, it's starting to get bad again. Uh, this is not good. Now, a part of the problem is you have not enough people getting tested. You have at-home testing. You have a whole bunch of people saying, oh, well, COVID's over with. It can't be COVID. I guess I'm just sick. No. Take a test for COVID. There's a lot of people not testing right now, and that could be part of the reason why the positivity rates are going up oh so fast. But another part of the reason is, no, things are uh, rapidly starting to change again, and things are unfortunately trending in the wrong direction. I, I really don't think that we're going to go to as bad as last summer, but, you know, how fast we're changing here from, ah, uh, things are getting a slow start to, whoa, it's starting to get serious. Yeah, it's happening rather quick, and that's concerning, and we need to keep our eyes on that. The only good thing that can come out of such a rapid change is, historically, not just here in the United States and other places as well, when we see things start to go up rapidly, it means we head towards a peak faster, and then we can sometimes go down just as fast. We'll have to just see how this plays out, because right now, we are definitely in the start of the rapidly go up phase and i think cdc data later today is going to confirm that and you can see here on some of these charts uh positivity rates uh take a look here we can see here here's 2025 and there's where we were in that purple line is 2021 that red line is 2025 you can see here it's a rather quick going up now and well golly i hope we don't start going up even faster 2025 did or excuse me, 2021 did eventually start going up faster. As you know, BA.1 Omicron variant at that time. Alrighty, moving on. Yeah, things are not good today. Uh, here's more evidence of a potential rapid rise. This is from someone we share often here on the channel, Mike Horger. 
who lives down in Louisiana. Uh, New Orleans is experiencing one of the largest surges in the nation for wastewater scan. Now, we all know wastewater scan data sometimes at the end can be wonky and can change. But even if you correct it over multiple updates, it is now rapidly rising in New Orleans at both wastewater sites. And yeah. So uh, this is not good. Obviously, I'm very curious to see what happens on the next update to see how much this gets correct. I think it's probably overdone, but heck, if it doesn't correct much, that's really bad. That means, I mean, New Orleans had a very bad winter, and then you can see back in June it went up a little bit, but now it's just really gone up. And I hope this gets a big correction, and this is not true, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. All right, let's go international for a moment. Australian. Respiratory Surveillance Report, uh, June 30th to July 13th, 2025. And it looks like COVID cases have decreased by 19.5%, while influenza increased by 24.4%. RSV has increased by 0.6%. Good to see COVID going down. Uh, RSVs maybe getting close to a peak. And influenza, well, that's still bad. 13,165 COVID cases, 41,734 influenza cases, and RSV, uh, 13,394 cases. So, yeah, it is winter time over there. That's why they're seeing three viruses on the increase there. But you know what? The United States has also seen other viruses increase. More on that in a moment. COVID-19 outbreaks in Australian residential aged care facilities. This is the update as of... Uh, July 17th, Dennis COVID Info Guy. That is, he is definitely making the list on my site. We use his stuff a lot. There's a lot of uh, people that we use. Uh, active cases, 1,319, down by 20.8%. Active outbreaks, 223, that's down by 6.3%. Resident cases, 967, down by 19.1%. Staff cases, 352, down by 25.1%. Reported deaths in 2025, 321. That's up by 27. So uh, you can see here, COVID's behaving in its classic fashion. They have passed a peak for cases. It is starting to drop. But the last lagging indicator is deaths and deaths. There's still an increase in them ongoing at this time. All right. I said the United States also has problems with other viruses. Well, here's one of them. Mississippi is reporting that they're having problems when it comes to whooping cough. There's a lot of places having problems with whooping cough. And it's not just the United States. You saw Japan the other day. Japan's doing really bad for whooping cough. But as of July 10th, Mississippi now has 80 cases have been reported so far this year. That's up from 49 for all of last year. Repeating, all of last year. We're only in the middle of July. More cases are likely to come. More months are left to go in. This is not good to see Mississippi doing that. And then... We move on now to this in Galveston, Texas. Galveston County whooping cough cases, nearly double 2024's total cases. Galveston County's having a problem. This is just one county in Texas. So uh, how many cases did we just talk about in Mississippi? Yeah, we talked about 80 cases for the whole state. How about one county in Texas has the Galveston County Health District confirmed 60 cases? of pertussis by the end of June. 60 cases for just one county in Texas. That's even worse. So, uh, yeah, you get the idea here. And, uh, you know, well, let me read on. 60 cases of pertussis by the end of June, a significant increase from the 35 total cases last year, according to the health districts. Oh, see? Now someone's about to comment, why don't you talk about flu? Why don't you talk about this virus, that virus? COVID, 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 COVID. You know what? We're talking about whooping cough. Let's continue with other viruses. Hey, look at this. Now he's talking about measles. I'm not all COVID. It's called the virus update. Measles cases in New Brunswick. More than double overnight now. I don't know if this is their total for the entire year. I think it is. I don't think they've had this many new cases in just the last 24 hours. But maybe the number that they've reported for the year have doubled over. But uh, you get here. Measles cases in New Brunswick. More than double overnight. 13 cases have been reported. The number of confirmed measles cases in New Brunswick's South Central region has more than doubled over the past 24 hours. Public health officials say there are 13 cases of the contagious infection 
in Sussex, New Brunswick. That's not good. And that is a pretty uh, sizable increase considering, I thought I read here that they only had uh, five before that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, up from five on Wednesday. So, that's not good. Continuing with the measles news, popular Ontario summer travel spot sees the most new measles cases for the week. Yeah, most new measles cases in Ontario over the past week were reported in a popular summer travel area. Public Health Ontario is reporting 32 new measles cases, 19 of which are in here we're on perf so that's not good and here's their grand total for the year so far 2276 measles cases yeah that's not good whatsoever measles cases in the united states hey measles cases are still a problem in my state of pennsylvania yeah take a look at this uh I believe it's here somewhere pennsylvania last i saw uh had 15 yeah here it is by the numbers pennsylvania has confirmed 15 cases of measles so far from this year there was only four in total in 2024 although i question that 2024 number because if you recall philadelphia had an outbreak last year all right moving on to the actual number of measles for the entire united states and that total is 1309 confirmed measles cases were reported by 40 jurisdictions including we're not going to read them all but alaska Arkansas. you get the idea here we're getting very close to four all 50 states. Yeah, not good whatsoever. Viral activity levels in Canada are COVID-19 is low, flu A is low, flu B is low, RSV is low at this time. All right, over in the UK, the positivity rate for COVID did start to go back up this week. It's back up to 6.03%. Cases also went up, 991 cases. Uh, that is up by 42 or 4.4%. Uh, deaths, 47. Healthcare, we skipped that because uh, that number, I think, is the same from last week. And it says has not updated since June 30th. Let's take a look at some other viruses in the UK. Something we would normally do over the weekend. But uh, we're going to have a lot to look at tomorrow. Influenza, we can see here, is doing okay at this time. RSV is okay. And uh, everything else, for the most part, is okay. And last I checked, measles, I think the number was similar or same as last week. All right. India's update for today. I do need to refresh this. While this refreshes, let's pause and take that hydration break, shall we? Very important to keep yourself hydrated, uh, especially in the summertime. 487 active cases in India, and looks like they have no new deaths reported today. Reminder, my website is datareport.info. I will be doing a lot of updates to that uh, come We'll say the next week or two. And you notice here, I have not been posting a lot here. You see, I've fallen very behind. You're going to see my name, data report here on the right several times. Uh, because I'm going to be adding a lot of things over the next uh, couple of weeks. I'll be doing work on it. And you can find out a lot of information. COVID studies, past COVID outbreaks, past celebrities who've had COVID, news stories, all, all kinds of different stuff there. I, it's basically an archive of me archiving news and events that happen with these viruses. All right, take a look at what's going on with the air qualities today, and uh, let's refresh this again. You're going to see there are still some problem spots. Um, yep, take a look at this. Now we're starting to see the plains, even the southern plains, start to see some yellow and orange. We're continuing to see problems in Northern California, Oregon, Washington, starting to have problems. Really, the majority of the West Coast. I mean, the best state, I guess you could say, was maybe Southern Arizona and portions of Southern New Mexico. And take a look at this. New England has gotten a little bit better. I'm very happy about that because in just a little while, well, while you're watching this video, I'll either be on my way to Maine or already there. Chances are, if you're watching it early on, I'm still on my way there, sitting in a traffic jam somewhere. Take a look at this. Uh, Canada still has bad air problems as well. Taking a look now at what's going on with the breathing index for today. Slight uh, issues in the Northeast. A few sporadic issues on the West Coast. And not too bad elsewhere. Just some uh, problems in Arkansas today. That's not good. Taking a look at what's going on with the EMS calls. Here's Florida. Not many calls at this time in the morning there. 927 in the morning. Philadelphia did update. 849 EMS incidents. A live look in at uh, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. It is now 930 in the morning. We can see there are 10 calls. 
that's about normal for this time of morning on a Friday. Taking a look at what's going on when it comes to Chester County, Pennsylvania. You see respiratory difficulty, heart problems, sick person. Few things there. Nothing out of the ordinary for this time on Friday morning. And uh, Bucks County. This seems to be about the normal that I see for this time of day. Taking a look at the hospital situation in Pennsylvania. We do see that, eh, not too bad. Might get worse later in our day. Often it's not bad in the morning. Then it gets worse as the day goes on. We do see three hospitals today in uh, southeast Pennsylvania with problems. And all three of them are on that mainline corridor, which is otherwise known as Route 30. They call it the main line. There's a lot of college areas, a lot of different towns there, some wealthy areas. It's called the main line. You get the idea here. So problems there with the hospital today. New Jersey, let's see what's going on. Let's do a uh, refresh because I'm sure that wasn't up to date. Cooper University Hospital, full and total divert for patient volume. Inspire Mannington's having an issue. Uh, Penn Medicine Princeton Medical Center. Yikes, that is on divert for patient volume. Uh, wow. Virtue Our Lady of Lords Hospital. Okay, they're dealing with a power outage, but uh, not good to see Penn Medicine Princeton Medical Center on divert. Uh, that's concerning for a Friday. Uh, taking a look at what is going on now. New York State has not updated for today. Just the uh, most recent update, for, which was yesterday, 470 new cases. And the hospital situation, they dropped a little bit yesterday. 239 in the hospital and 23 in the ICU. All right, we do have some new stuff from CJS. And uh, before uh, we read that, we should read part of his notes here. And it does note that last week's hospitalizations, 20% of the national hospitalizations were just from Florida alone. Yeah, 20% of the national hospitalizations are from Florida alone. That shows you how bad things are in Florida right now. That's not good whatsoever. Florida's daily number, 619 new cases. New York daily number, 414. Puerto Rico, 648. Texas added another 1,437 new cases. And 303 CDC reported hospitalizations reported last Friday. And nine deaths reported by the CDC data tracker last Friday. On a Tuesday, that was the Monday update. Now the Tuesday update. Florida had another 950 new cases and two new deaths, including one from 2021. New York had 283 new cases. Puerto Rico had another 787 new cases. Maryland had a weekly number of 518 new cases and four new deaths. Keep this in mind. Maryland's weekly number is lower than Puerto Rico's daily number. That's that's bad. Uh, bad for Puerto Rico. Virginia, 1,045 new positive tests and seven deaths reported by the CDC data tracker last Friday. And then we come over to Wednesday. Florida had 1,913 new cases and six new deaths, including one from 2021 and also one from 2022. New York had 277 new cases. Puerto Rico had 633 new cases. Nevada, 280. Washington weekly number. And Nevada was also weekly. Washington, 426 emergency department visits and four new deaths. And then he says, as noted, not only is Florida shooting up, but as reported in Tuesday's tallies, the mid-Atlantic region is seeing increases in COVID activity and Washington is seeing increases in state reported COVID emergency department visits. The 426 reported this week is a high for this year. So yeah, things are really trending in the wrong direction here in the United States. Alrighty, folks, that does it for today's virus update. If you like today's virus update, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. I will see you all again next time. When I see you again next time, I'll be away on vacation. Uh, there will be no thread for today's uh, virus update or no post with all the stories. I just don't have time to do it today. So uh, we will maybe, I don't know if we're going to continue that while I'm on vacation. I may. We'll see. Uh, all right. I will see you guys all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Friday. Thanks for watching.